Rock on. <laughs> Welcome to Outdoor Quest TV. On today's episode of Outdoor Quest TV, we're headed to Namibia for a planes game hunt. Now don't expect any steady footage here shot off a tripod. This is all spot and stock hunting for free range game. Things go from zero to a hundred in the blink of an eye. Now join us on our hunt in Namibia. Oh my goodness, what, a, what an incredible journey we had. We got on the plane last night and we were all ready to go, took off, and engine number four blew out. So uh, I had to spend a good hour and a bit just uh, dumping fuel and stuff and head back to Frankfurt and we got to spend the night in a nice hotel. So it's uh, roughly um, 7 o'clock in the morning and we're going to try again. <laughs>
Outdoor Quest is brought to you by Argo, world leader in amphibious vehicles. Explore the possibilities. Hi, I'm Vanessa Herrett from Outdoor Quest TV. And I'm TJ Schwanke. This is our professional hunter, Bootnell, Bootnell Hunting Safaris. We finally made it. <laughs> <laughs> Took a year to get here, right? Eh? Well, more than that, I think we met you a year and a half ago at the Safari Club convention in Reno. That's right. This area, basically, you got a lot of planes game, uh, different, different variation of species, and that's quite important here. Yes. Uh, not many places have free roaming animals in the in number of kudu, gamesbog, hardebeers, warthog, stenbok, dagger, wildebeest. They are all free ranging here. It's the only place in Namibia where wildebeest is on farmland actually free ranging is in this area here. Oh wow. Now when we go hunting, we could basically run into anything? Yeah, you know, I, I, go, I go out hunting. Uh, it's, it's, it's stupid to say I'm going to hunt for kudu or for whatever today. You just go hunting, whatever across the path, you're going to go for it. Yeah. We'll drive around in the truck, spot the animals, and then yeah. stalk on foot. We're doing it, spot and stalk is one area. The other thing we do is going to go down and, and walk through the bush, mm -hmm. uh, make a blind stalk. Yeah. And uh, like I said, yeah, but we didn't shoot from a vehicle. And it looks like we've got some helpers here. Yeah, yeah, it's my trackers. <laughs> These guys, they help the tracker. They do the, the, the big part of finding the game. Yeah, once it's winter, if you because wounded. Because of these guys, we, you know, we hardly lost any animal. No kidding. Huh? Vanessa, uh, we stopped down here. There's a water place close by an open pan. Okay. And there's normally hang, some game hanging around down there. Right. So we're going to go down and slowly down there and see what we can see something there. Sounds good. What can happen down there. Okay. Go. Let's go. on the right hand side. Okay. He's facing us, he's lying angling towards us. We're gonna put the sticks up, go a little bit too far, put the sticks up, he will come up. Okay. When he come up, see what you're gonna get in his chest on his shoulder. Okay. Right, the middle of the animal, okay? Yeah. You broke the, the heart of his the vocal. curse. <laughs> <laughs> and you break the ice on your uh, his first African animal antelope. Yes. yes. Well done. Yeah, I think you deserve it. You, you I was quite, quite nervous. You turned totally white. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked out perfect. You yeah. got a nice ball. So how do you judge these these horns? Like how did you know? Uh, for me, I, I first look at, at the kind of a, of a, of a kind of a, of a big heart is important. Right. And the height is going up. Yeah. And then the, the the points lying back is very important. Right here. We got that long points. Gonna fall. You got that long points. You are sure you got a good trophy of good measurements anyway. Right. 
Yeah. I had measured the score well. Yeah. It's a big mile, real, real mature mile. Well done. But really cool that we had the dogs with us. Um, that was so neat. Um, uh, yeah, big help, you know. You know, and and it was neat because like you know, as soon as they got that scent. They, they just took off, they you know. Took off. They got the blood trail, they go work immediately. And that's what you see also yesterday, when there's not a good good uh, blood trail or there's no blood at all, they won't go on the track. Yeah, and then when we heard them start to bark, it was just like my <laughs> my heart settled a little bit. It was good getting you in here, you know, getting you in and giving you the killing shot. Yeah, yeah. Like I said to you in the start also, you know, it's your animal, you had to kill it. Uh, when there's a risk involved, there's the only way we step in the shoot. But otherwise, it's your animal, you had to kill it. Yeah, yeah, no, that was... But it worked out perfect. <laughs> <laughs> You see the other DJ, this is typically with the game cross. All these fences is made, is like you guys call it round yep. fences for cattle fences. Yeah. And you see here normally you've got five wires and the game cross underneath and over. But this typical cross here, you can see it, the farmer leave it open here also. So the game cross here, back and forth down here, and there's nothing gonna stop them here. Like it's kinda neat too because the only posts that are into the ground are about you know 60 meters apart. That's right. And all in between we watch those Gemsbach, they just slide under then the fence yeah. actually lifts for them that's it's right there's enough enough space for the fence it's not that, that tight that they cannot, cannot, cannot cross yeah like we watch the kudus they can jump this easily but a lot no of it looks problem. like the heart of beast and the gemsbach go underneath they just slide you say yesterday how they slide underneath yeah easily a, yeah it's, it's amazing <laughs> but you know this country is so thick here that you know really the only place you can drive is along these fence lines and it's not like these fences keep game in it's just to keep the cattle in that's basically the whole idea but i think that's why we said it's free free roaming area you know game can come and go as they as they want to oh yeah and you never know what you're gonna bump into you know you can see something today here tomorrow is gone completely all right DJ. yes there's two water in the front there yeah i see them it's on that fence line yep we're gonna go down there on this side, it's up down there, see if we can get close by to them. Okay. I'm not sure, the one can, it, it, it could be a good mile, but I think it's worth trying it. Okay, so we'll just kind of stay over on this? Yeah. on this side, I'm staying there, to follow it up on this side. Okay. Got the cover, then we've got enough cover to get in there, on this side. Yeah. And the wind's good too, yeah. And it's perfect from this side, so it all worked perfectly out. Okay, sounds good. Can't smoke there. Said that big bull, that big that one is in the open. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So his horns? Yes. That's a very big bull. He looks big. That's a huge bull. So we had to from here we had to get in there, we had to get really low in to get to them. Well you never know what you're gonna run into here, do you? <laughs> Take him. Just be on him. Just be on him. Okay. I think he's hit good. Yeah. All right, let's go up there. <laughs> oh. 
Well done. Thank you, my man. That's a good bull, man. That's a beautiful bull. Hey. That's the one we saw a long distance. Yes. Big on the bases. That's a big bull. Well, Booth, that's a dream come true right there, I tell you. <laughs> there's, there's two animals that epitomize Africa to me, and the Gemsbach is one of them, the Kudu is the other, and I think we're off to a good start for for uh, getting a good trophy. Yeah, I must say, I think you are, you are very lucky also. Yes. <laughs> but we are looking for a bull like this for two days now. Yep. And we saw yesterday, we saw a nice bull also. And then we pick up this herd. <coughs> actually, we follow the warthog. We're following going for warthog only, actually. And uh, then the warthogs, we jump kind of young gangsbok to the left. They took off. They scared the warthog off. And the next thing we spot the gangsbok way in front. And immediately we spot this bull. Yeah. It was definitely, definitely the herd bull anyway. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can see the way as he's standing out. There was three other bulls. He chased them off. Uh, two, two left. One stayed behind. And uh, yeah. And then we got we got a little bit of, of mix up. Got got cornered. They spread out. Yeah. We got too many eyes on us. And um, yeah. Then we got it, we, we're crawling for a long distance. <laughs> you can tell all by fours. my legs. <laughs> I should have worn pants today. <laughs> <laughs> on all fours, getting in close. And yeah, you make a perfect shot down there. I think yeah. the shot was about 100 and maybe 110 yards away. Yeah. Uh, broke his shoulder, broke his spine, and the bullet on the other side. Good performance for a bronze X. Yeah, I know. I was really happy well with that. Well done for a 38. Yeah, it's a good yeah. caliber you got down there. But a 39 inch bull. Oh, that's incredible. I, that's what I've been dreaming of. TJ, well done. Uh, thank you. Congratulations. Vanessa, I'm going to stop it. It's a really good guru time now. Okay. Uh, there's a water place in the front here. It's a good spot for a cruise. I think we're gonna stop here. We're gonna stalk up to the water place slowly and see if we can bump into something out there. Okay. Just be ready. If it's gonna happen, it could happen real fast. Okay. Alright? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Bye, Thank you.
man, did that ever happen fast. <laughs> <laughs> but this time we got good hunting, you know, we're going so fast. Yeah. You're looking, you see nothing, and then all of a sudden they're out there. It was really nice though when, you know, we came over to where I shot and I saw blood. Yeah. You know, like that was such a relief. It was just, it? I mean, after seeing how these animals don't really bleed much, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was really worried. But, but he was pumping oil down there. Yeah. He was pumping oil. Now he's a really nice, mature bull. Nice kudu bull. He's so cool. And you got, an, you got a very nice first kudu anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, this has been just an amazing trip. It really has. It's just, oh, like. Vanessa, this is a dream in Africa. Kudu. It's one of the number one animals in Africa. Yep, this was number one on my list. You had done well. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we actually beat the dogs to him this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get to do their job today. <laughs> but wow, this has been an amazing trip. And um, if you ever get a chance to come out here and hunt with Bootnell, it's awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Well, sundowners in Africa, this is about as good as it gets, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. Congratulations on that kudu. That was spectacular. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was It was really amazing. I mean, again, something really fast. This is real hunting, and it changed a lot of my perceptions about things. And, you know, I know I'll never look at Africa the same. Um, I've learned a lot of what I like about here. And I think I, there's a lot of things that I know I don't want to do, and that's why we chose this trip the way we did. Yeah. We wanted to hunt free range, you know, we wanted to live in tents. We want to thank Bootnell from Bootnell Hunting Safaris, and, you know, if, if you ever really want to experience the real Africa. Wild Africa. Yeah, this is the way to do it. Yeah. Um, find all the Boots information at the end of this program, or you can check it out at theoutdoorquest.com. <laughs>